Hello everyone, I want to introduce today the idea of image histograms and explain you why they are useful and what can we do with it. So first of all, what is a image histogram? An image histogram is a histogram that shows how often different intensity values in an image occur. So for example, it tells me how often does the color black occur, how often does the color white occur in the image. And so that's actually something which is a very simple thing, a very simple concept. So in general, a histogram is a 2D bar plot where on the x-axis are the elements you're interested in and the y-axis are the occurrences, so the counts or the probabilities. So for an image histogram, on the x-axis we have the intensity values or the colors that we have and on the y-axis we have a count how often does this color occur in an image. So let's have a look into a very simple toy example such as this image here which consists of uh, nine pixels it has uh, five black pixels, two gray pixels, and two white pixels. So this will lead to a histogram where on the x-axis we have the different intensity values. So in this case, um, 0, 128, and 255. And then the different counts, which simply tell me how often does this color occur um, in terms of pixel counts in this image. And that's basically what an image histogram is. If we have an RGB color image, we can of course build those histograms for the three individual channels, so for R, G, and B, and then this tells us something about the intensity distribution in these color channels. And those histograms provide us with a lot of useful information that we can um, use now to analyze the image, to enhance the image, to change the image, to give the image certain properties um, through transformation functions that map intensity um, values into new intensity values. And this is a very frequently used tool, not only in photography, where you use this transformation to make those images appear more beautiful. Um, you can only use this in photogrammetry, image processing, computer vision, in order to enforce certain properties in your image. And that's very useful. So how can we manipulate those histograms? We can use it through a function. Mathematically, it's a point operator. So a function which takes a single intensity uh, value as an input and outputs a single intensity value. So for example, um, I have my function f, my input intensity value is let's say uh, 100 and will be mapped to 120. That means all intensity values which um, uh, of the value 100 will be mapped into 120. And this is an individual decision for every individual intensity value. So it's basically a lookup table. And this, they can be expressed through a curve, often in photography referred to as a tone curve, that you can manipulate that tells you where to which value an input intensity is actually mapped to. And depending how you change that curve for the whole image, for selective parts, um, for individual color channels, you can change the appearance of that image. Again, mathematically, these are point operators, and we, as in the basic form, look into this of changing the contrast of the image, or changing the brightness, or uh, increasing the contrast only in shadow reason, or in highlights, or in midtones. These are all different operations we can do. There are also other um, operations that I can do in order to get an image which has a certain property. For example, if you treat your camera as an intensity measurement device, where every pixel is an intensity measurement, a photon counter, then these counts have different uncertainties depending on the brightness value, the intensity value. And what you can do is you can perform an image normalization, a so-called noise variance equalization, so that all pixels in the end have the same noise, the same variance in terms of the actual light intensity measurements of photon counts that have been done. And this is very useful if you then analyze your image with respect to the intensity values. Or you can do something that's called histogram equalization, where you try to take all the different intensity values which are split um, over your histogram, about the individual color values, and you basically want to transform it into an image so that the histogram of the new image distribute the color values equally over the whole range of possible intensity values. And this will lead to more contrasty images. For example, if you have an image which looks like this as a input image, we can perform histogram equalization and will then turn into an image which in this case also looks more beautifully um, but uses the full range of intensity values in order to picture the scene. And these are corrections that we can do based on those histograms. So these image histograms and these different mappings are frequently used tools not only in photography um, but also in photogrammetry, computer vision and other disciplines. It's important to understand how you can use this as a, um, a pre-processing step for further algorithms in order to 
get certain properties to ensure that certain properties in your images actually hold. I hope that was useful. Thank you very much for your attention.